now we'll get a little more pictorial understanding this is your figure of speech i think you may be earlier aware or not uh, metaphor personification these are the very common things all writer will use what is personification any of the non living thing just will assume if it will be a person if it will be a person like one mountain is there or one uh, big tree is there both are side by side now who are very innovative who are novelist who are a writer just they will put one personification just suppose this mountain could be one person this tree could be a person or many of the ancient story we are learning like that correct then how they could talk what could be their talking point that is called personification hyperbole this is expressing you can say very uh, higher side of anything ex too much excite excitation and after then you can say idioms are there proverbs are there all these are called figures of speech metaphor one of the you can say most widely used concept of figures of speech simile is there then four type of vocabulary you have seen already uh, tiers of vocabulary you have seen now these also you understood this is your root prefix suffix combination of these it will give you the vocabulary prefix here just a sample like uh, if uh, you are put, uh, putting suffix age then what will happen like rakes here ends and e this again list i will provide to you and during the session i will discuss in detail about the prefix suffix also this is your prefix nt nt means against anti terrorism after then uh, you can say em is there then this will be there en if you are putting this will be there in code after then uh, you can say many of the inter md all will discuss during this just i am giving one simple idea prefix suffix and root how they are playing the role for developing the vocabulary i just take one words unacceptable an h prefix a group of letters placed before the root word except it is root word able is a suffix unacceptable it is combination of prefix root and suffix but don't expect all the words will have all three features root must be there and many of the words uh, like if you are using very small words like uh, uh, in the form of uh, helping words or these all maybe many of the times root we also don't know figure out we will not able to figure out very properly like is many of the times are can we are not aware much what is root or this some root will be there without root it will not come these are small or small words or helping verbs we will not we cannot expect what is the root or these all we cannot uh, break it down in the form of prefix root and suffix but whatever standard words are there apart from all these things we will able to break down at least root plus prefix root plus suffix or root root plus some other root or root plus some other words or prefix plus root plus suffix any of the combination can be possible any of the combination can be possible a root word is a part of word it contains the core meaning of the word but it rarely stands alone something we have to put we have to give some help to root word then it will give the different different meaning like here you can see just a different different uh, like echo means sharp accurate acute acupuncture all are related to echo all root words are meaning is sharp if any measurement is very sharp mean deviations are very less accurate if it is very sharp angle acute acupuncture like if we are putting any particular point just pressing very sharp if just suppose acupuncture means like this then we can't say it is acupuncture then we use like a needle type things just particular point due to it is a very sharp point due to it is acupuncture means any particular sharp point we are making the puncturing similar way we, we will able to analyze all the things word families that is also another category i told already that is a uh, like uh, this you can develop based on your like a uh, just fun type like just suppose you can take like uh, one of the ay how many words will be related to ay or how many words we can make from ay it will start with sunday monday holiday day any of the words will be there just to try to make okay 20 words i want to write which either starting with ay or ending with ay or in between ay is there or another way just to take any of the words monsoon 
Now from monsoon, how many different different words can we make? Just take 20 different words I will make, which alphabet will be used only from monsoon. These are little small small things, fun thing we can do to develop the vocabulary. Like monsoon, many of the words we can make, moon, sun, many of the words, soon, many of the words we can make, just you will make the combination. Only thing we have to understand here, how many vowels we have, how many consonants we have. I am telling you to become fast all these activity. Based on the vowel, only we will be able to make the words in easy way. If you are not able to use the vowel sound in proper way, then what will happen? You will struggle to frame the word. You will able, you will struggle to generate the new words. Then all these will be there different different way. We can make the category, category of the words, a group of words, 